Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn. Uh, this is uh, for the end of your May going into June. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to take a look at your over energies uh, regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private Per, uh, um, private personal reading with me, okay? Uh, so keep in mind the link for that is in the, is in the um, is in the description box below. All right, you guys, Mercury retrograde is hitting me pretty hard, <laughs> so um, just bear with me. I'm sorry, you guys. All right, Capricorn, let's get started. Over energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the end of May going into June, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Capricorn. Let's get one more. Alright, let's see what we have for you here, Capricorn. Seven of Wands. You got the Queen of Swords. So, um, if this is you, the Queen of Swords, Capricorn, I feel like right now you're extremely guarded, very protective of your energy, okay? So I feel like you're really standing up for yourself, okay? Um, if you had trouble doing that in the past, because I'm getting an energy that someone here is being sort of locked all over. And now I feel like you're standing up for yourself here, okay? Uh, you're speaking your truth. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay, so a lot of you guys have really withdrawn or really have gone soul searching here. Because I just feel like Capricorn, I feel like you have consistently been disappointed over and over and over and over again, not just with your person, but with other people in your life, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have the Five of Swords. You're definitely going through some changes. And the Three of Swords, wow. Three plus, uh, three plus five is eight. There is fear. There is fear about not finding love here. Because I feel like you've been let down so many times, uh, Capricorn. You know, when I see that seven uh, energy, that seven of wands energy, that's an energy of kind of like a loner energy. Yeah, tell me about the seven of wands here. Why is the seven of wands here? Tell me about the seven of wands. Hold on one sec, make sure that this is. Tell me about the seven of wands. We have the sun, Leo energy. So I feel like. I feel like there are things being illuminated that you haven't really recognized yet, but it's being illuminated so that you can work on this. Such as examples of being let down by people in your life. Yeah. Leo energy with the sun, queen of swords, we have the wheel of fortune. So I do feel like this is a constant, consistent pattern here regarding relationships. Five of Cups, oh. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
I feel like someone here goes all in pretty quickly. Keep in mind, sometimes, you know, I would say most of the time in romantic relationships, we are a direct reflection of who we attract according to our inner world. So I feel like the person that you were dealing with was reflecting this right back at you. And I feel like now you're facing it, uh, Capricorn, because we have that sun card here. That's being illuminate, uh, illuminated. It's being shown to you. Okay? You're definitely having some sort of awakening here. Okay? Uh, the Hermit. We have the Six of Wands. I do feel like there are fears here, okay? But I feel like, you know, there is an energy of pretending that everything is fine and not allowing people to see sweat, Capricorn, okay? Uh, five of Swords. Wow, we have a Ten of Cups. You know, I feel like you go into it believing that things are going to turn out into a Ten of Cups, but I feel like at each time, you feel like you get played by someone here. Three of Swords. And a ton of wands, yeah. I feel like your heart is weighing very heavy. Because I do feel like you give it your all. Yeah, you give a lot, but you don't get you don't get it back in return. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn for the end of May going into June? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We have the Hangman, Piscean energy here. Seems like this person might be waiting for you to come back. Nine of Wands and the Lovers. Or this could be you right here taking a step back from dealing with relationships here. Yeah. Taking a step back, healing your traumas here. Seems like this energy might be all you, uh, Capricorn. Lovers, Gemini energy. All right, we have the King of Swords and the Devil might be dealing with a narcissistic individual that has like narcissistic tendencies this could be a completely total a complete total asshole here yeah this is interesting because i feel like you're still dealing with this person capricorn this person could be abusive yeah this person could be abusive so just be careful because what I'm sensing here is that there's a lot of trauma here surrounding this relationship. Yeah, I just feel like you're, you're emotionally given so much that this person is quite the opposite, completely just cold. King of Swords to Queen of Swords, we have a true pair right there. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. I feel like you keep trying to be nice to this individual and hoping by being nice to them, they would change their behavior. But I don't think this person's behavior is going to change. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Hangman. We have Temperance here. Yeah, you're hoping that, you know, by you being nice to this person, by being patient with this person, by giving this person many chances, you hope that they would do better. But I feel like the more that you do that, the more that this person takes advantage of you. The Nine of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. I, I do feel like you're still dealing with this person, Capricorn. I do feel like some of you guys might be in an abusive relationship. I do feel like there are children involved here too. And the children are asking questions, Capricorn. Nine of uh, the Lovers. We have a Chariot, Cancer Energy. King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. This person has no compa capacity to self-reflect here. And yeah, this person really lacks that. That's a huge red flag. Devil, we have the Two of Pentacles. Wow. I 
I feel like this person is unpredictable, Capricorn. I do feel like this is an abusive relationship. I really do. I really do. So, um, you know, it could be a situation. You're, you're making plans to get out. Yeah, you're making plans to get out. Let's see what else we have here. Outcome and advice here for Capricorn regarding their love situation for the end of May going into June. The sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Yeah, I, I, I just feel like this is a, a this is like a red flag that you've ignored in the past, and I feel like you can't ignore it anymore. And that you're ready to get out, or that it's time for you to get out. I'll come in advice here for Capricorn regarding their love situation. What else does Capricorn need to know? King of Cups. We have the King to the Queen of Cups. We have the King to the Queen of Swords. This is a this is a this is a soul tie. Yeah, I I would say this is this is this might be a karmic uh, 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 situation. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Seems like this person does not pay any attention to you. We have the star, Aquarius energy. Two of swords here. I feel like you have a decision to make. Whether to get out or not. Because I feel like you're being di divinely guided to get out, uh, Capricorn. We have the eight of wands. We have the tower. I think you're going to surprise the crap out of this person at some point. Yeah, you're just going to unexpectedly get out and move on. Tell me about the King of Cups. This person thought that they, you, they have you wrapped around their fingers. We have the Eight of Cups. This is a, this is a person who's a bit of an empty vessel. This person is cold, hollow. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. Aries, Neil, Sagittarius, Energy. Yeah, this person does not pay any attention to you, I feel. I feel like you might be talking to this person, and this person's kind of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like they're not listening. The star, we have judgment here. Sagittarius energy. Could also be Scorpio. Two of swords, we have the four of pentacles. I feel like you're being called to leave this situation. But I do feel like there is fears of leaving because... I feel like someone here feels like they financially cannot survive on their own. So I do feel like this person might have c c controlled your money. Yeah. Eight of, Pent uh, Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're slowly making a plan to get away. The Tower. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to surprise the crap out of this person. You're going to surprise the crap out of this person. Yeah, I feel like you're making a decision to leave. You're making a decision based on the right thing for you right now, okay? And I do feel like there is a friend group that's supporting you on this. So, yeah, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys.